When the Frozen 2 teaser trailer dropped recently, it broke some major records. Within 24 hours, it became the most viewed animation trailer of all time, with 116.4 million views. The film comes out November 22nd of this year, which feels like an eternity away. So today, we are here to help alleviate some of that pain with our list of the top 10 Frozen fan theories. Now, some of these theories pertain to what the sequel might entail, while others address the Frozen franchise as a whole. So, with that in mind, let's jump in. And at number 10, Young Parents. Let's start off our list with a theory pertaining to the brand new teaser trailer. Now, two brand new characters appear in this teaser, and actually we'll be talking a lot about them on this list. Naturally, everyone has been speculating as to who they could be, but one of the bigger theories is that the mystery boy and mystery girl are actually Elsa and Anna's parents when they're young. Why would this be a thing? Well, the theory suggests that Frozen 2 will revolve around Elsa and Anna looking into the mystery of what happened to their parents when their ship crashed. This is why the first moments of the teaser feature Elsa practicing with her abilities on the crashing waves, with the intention of the gang searching for her parents after getting a hint as to where their ship could have ended up. Up next, number 9, Frozen Entangled. One of the biggest theories pertaining to Frozen is that it's set in the same world as another Disney film, Tangled. How so? Well, between the two movies, there's a lot of little crossovers and circumstantial evidence that fans have picked up on. In Frozen, Hans has 12 brothers. He looks a whole lot like the Stabbington brothers from Tangled. Hans is also from the Southern Islands, and Tangled, which is set in another kingdom, is on an island. Now, compared to the climate in Frozen, it seems a whole lot warmer. Plus, the uniforms that the characters in Frozen wear look very similar to the Austrian style uniforms that the nobles in Tangled wear. And to top it all off, the most apparent connection? There's a line in Tangled at the end of the film where Flynn tells Rapunzel that he's heard that Arendelle is nice this time of year. It's all interconnected. And at number 8, Rapunzel is Elsa and Anna's cousin. Speaking of Frozen and Tangled, this is another theory riffing on the idea that the two films are connected. Towards the end of Frozen, during the song, for the first time in forever, fans spotted characters in the background that look like Flynn and Rapunzel, right outside of the castle when the gates are opened and Anna comes out of them. This theory suggests that Elsa and Anna's parents had set sail to go to Rapunzel's wedding, and that's when their ship sank. Rapunzel and Flynn are at Elsa's coronation out of respect for the previous king and queen of Arendelle, and the fact that they died on their way to their wedding. And it's their fault indirectly that Anna and Elsa lost their parents. In addition to that, Tangled came out in 2010 and Frozen came out in 2013, and three years have passed between the king and queen's death and Elsa's coronation. But where does that whole cousin bit come in? Well, According to some versions of this theory, it's not the whole guilt thing that really motivates Rapunzel and Flynn to come to the coronation. It's because Rapunzel and the girls are cousins, and the king and queen were actually Rapunzel's aunt and uncle. And at number 7, Joan of Arc. This theory is based off of a portrait that's visible in the castle of Joan of Arc. The theory suggests that Joan is actually a distant ancestor of Elsa and Anna's, and the reason why Elsa's powers are what they are is because her bloodline genetically altered itself in order to protect themselves from being burned at the stake. Kinda dark. Seems like a tad bit of a long shot, but it's still interesting to think that perhaps these characters have some real world ties, even if those ties were merely inspiration. And at number 6, Hot Santa. This theory is pretty darn great. So according to a Reddit user named Hoffdog, Kristoff is actually Santa Claus back when he was young and hot. Because apparently it's agreed upon that Santa was hot back in the day, and that Kristoff is also, in fact, hot. Subjective opinion aside, Hoffdog argues, I quote, his name can be abbreviated to Chris, like, like Chris Kringle, who was raised by mystical creatures similar to elves. He is in love with reindeer. He rides in a sleigh. He loves the cold and is an expert in snow. His cheeks are pretty dang rosy if you ask me. Need I say more? So, will Kristoff eventually end up becoming Santa Claus, with Anna being Mrs. Claus? Maybe that's a question we can start asking if Disney ever pumps out an animated Santa Claus film sometime in the distant future. And at 5, The Snow Queen. It's no big secret that Frozen is loosely based off of Hans Christian Andersen's story, The Snow Queen. That being said, pretty much all of the characters in Frozen are original, and have nothing to do with the source material. Now, this theory suggests that Frozen 2 will dive further into that source material, exploring how Elsa got her powers, by inheriting them from an ancient ancestor of the royal family known as the Snow Queen. In the tale, the Snow Queen was wicked and evil, and created a mirror that reflected the ugliness of whomever looked into it. The mirror was then broken by a hero, or in this case, perhaps someone who worked with the trolls or the trolls themselves, hence why they have all that knowledge. The theory goes into detail in terms of how the plot of the second film could play out with this story in mind, but long story short, this theory suggests that the film Frozen 2 will be a much more direct adaptation of the Snow Queen story. Now, funny thing is, if you look at this theory and our next one, it actually kind of makes sense that 
an evil ancestor with winter powers could have existed. In at number four, Elsa and Anna's parents. Jumping back to Elsa's parents for this one. So there's a whole lot of theories surrounding these two. So we're gonna kind of bulk them together into one number. Now for starters, one theory speculates that Elsa's powers were nothing new to the king and queen. They previously had a relative, perhaps an ancestor named the Snow Queen, who had powers. And that's why when Elsa zapped Anna, they knew to go to the trolls for help, and why the king wasn't hesitant to approach them. To further that, there's another theory that suggests that in the Disney universe, magic is often used for ill purposes, thanks to all of the sorcerers and evil queens and what have you. So when Elsa's powers manifested, her parents feared for her and legitimately felt that locking her away was for good reason. Elsa coming out of the magic closet, in a way, is a big deal for the Disney universe, because it means we have a character who is very public and open about their powers, and isn't, you know, trying to use them to kill anyone, at least anyone who is innocent. And one last theory about the sister's parents. There's also a popular theory that the King and Queen story connects to a different Disney film, Tarzan. The theory suggests that the two survived their shipwreck and were stranded on a deserted island. Here they gave birth to a baby boy who is none other than Tarzan. This is where it gets wild though. In 2017, Frozen co-director Chris Buck confirmed that the fan theory was true, and he confirmed that when the King and Queen left Arendelle, the Queen was pregnant. Before the two of them passed away, they built a treehouse which would become Tarzan's home and when they died, he was fairly young, leaving him to be raised by gorillas. <laughs> Whoa! And at number three, coming out. One of the most persistent fan theories to pop up online after the first film's release was that the whole movie is actually about coming out, with Queen Elsa being queer, and her struggle with her powers being a metaphor for her inner conflict with her sexuality. The song Let It Go is supposed to represent her no longer caring about what other people think in terms of her sexuality. Regardless of whether or not there's a deeper meaning to Let It Go, a lot of people jumped onto the idea that Elsa could be a part of the LGBTQ community. Which actually brings us to our next number, in at two, The Mystery Girl. Perhaps the biggest question on everyone's mind from the Frozen trailer is who is this mystery girl? If the girl and that mystery boy aren't the king and queen of Arendelle when they were younger, well, who could they be? A lot of interest has specifically been directed to the girl in particular. Is she Anna and Kristoff's daughter? Or is she Elsa's girlfriend, perhaps? Back in 2016, a hashtag on Twitter went viral, hashtag give Elsa a girlfriend. To which the writer and co-director of the first film, Jennifer Lee, like, did not shut down the idea. Many were outspoken over the fact that Disney has yet to have a main character who falls into the LGBT LGBTQ spectrum. Hell, even Adina Menzel, who voices the character, was into the idea. So naturally people are curious whether or not that will actually become a thing, and if this mystery girl is the answer. And finally, in at number one, The Four Seasons. Perhaps the theory making the most waves online, aside from Elsa making waves, sorry, I had to, is The Four Seasons theory. So for starters, let's take a look at the teaser trailer again. It features quite a bit of autumn imagery, suggesting that perhaps the gang will either be leaving Arendelle or that fall has come to Arendelle and no one knows why. Then on on top of that, the poster that was released features different symbols that some fans think represent the Four Seasons, winter, spring, summer, and autumn. Josh Gad, who is the voice of Olaf, tweeted the poster out, saying, If you look hard enough, this teaser poster will reveal quite a few surprises, like how pretty a snowflake is up close. Now, if you look closely, the symbols in the snowflake match up with the symbols that are spotted inside of the floating diamonds from the scene in the teaser where Anna looks out over a balcony at them. This has led to a theory that speculates that the other seasons will play a valuable role in Frozen 2, and that in order to correct the weather in Arendelle, Elsa will have to team up with others who have elemental powers or seasonal powers in order to restore balance and harmony. It could very well be that that mystery girl and mystery blonde boy are two new characters who have season powers, because the girl potentially uses her powers in that shot in the teaser to whip the boy out of the leaves from the ground. Curious, isn't it? All right, there we have it, friends. Which of these theories do you think has the best chance of becoming a reality? Give us a shout in those comments below and let us know your thoughts. And if you have a theory of your own, why not also give us a shout in the comments about that too? We'd love to hear what you guys are thinking. In the meantime, though, if you dug this video, spread that love, hit that like button, and hey, why not stick around some more with us? Click subscribe and become a member of the Nerd Squad. In the meantime, though, thanks for watching, friends. I'll catch you all in the next video.